wraps up for today. We're going to go see the Giants Casway. And, and what is that? It is the eighth wonder of the world. It's, it's a bunch of octagonal rocks, all at different spots that are all naturally occurring. And then we're going to see a famous distillery and try some whiskey. This is what we're eating this morning. We're having uh, the traditional Irish breakfast. You have a fierce confidence, some may say overconfidence, in your ability to do anything you want. All right, so where are we? We're at the Giants Causeway. One of the eight wonders of the world. There you go. My new new grandpa, right there. Nice guy. Hello. <laughs> Canada. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, mom, I would have uh, got you that rock, but it's too big for you. So so far, this is it. This is the causeway. So, Amber, what do you think? I love it. It's really cool. It's a very spiritual experience. So what do you think? 
And that's a castle. And they're gay. Hello, Joseph. How are you? I'm good. Um, and, and what you up to? Uh, we are at Bushmills uh, Distillery, and this is like the oldest uh, distillery in the world. It opened uh, 16 or far. Crazy. And uh, this is uh, their, no, sorry, 1608 it opened. And uh, this is like their uh, 400th anniversary uh, blend here. And it is uh, a shot, $5. Um, Wish me all 16 owing, five dollars, five pounds, sorry, five pounds. So this is seven dollars. I feel like that. It's a lot of money. So, why don't you end our little excursion here at the distillery in true fashion and swig back your whiskey? Uh, I will, I we will take a sip and that's all. So, and that was it, so, thank you. So where are we? Nowhere. No. We're at a bridge. Rope bridge. So this is it, eh? This is it. Oh, fine. Oh, right, yeah. Fall to our death. <laughs> Okay, so where are, are we? We're on a bridge. Okay. We're about to call to our death. <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> yeah, there's <they're jumping. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> Everyone's like, sweet Moses. I can't believe that didn't happen. <laughs> you were that guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So, what do you think? <laughs> Just kidding. So, what did you think about that? Um, it was pretty fantastic. Favorite part? Stopping in the middle of the bridge and watching everyone panic behind you <laughs> as you started to bounce on the bridge. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> They're <were> like, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> that's funny. As you can see, it's made out of white pork and stone. Completed in 1932. The building itself is 365 feet long, 80 feet high. It has six floors, you can only see four of them, but One's inside the roof and one's below ground level. Believe it or not, there are also 365 windows, obviously one for each day of the year. Six columns at the front, supposed to represent the six counties in Northern Ireland. As I said, there are nine, and also only six of them are actually in Northern Ireland. 5th of December 2005. This was the only building suitable for George Best's funeral. I'm sure you've seen it on TV. You've got the lower courts on the right hand side. What's peculiar about that is that you've got a glass front of building in Belfast. Now, in the 1970s, there wouldn't have been many glass front of buildings in Belfast for obvious reasons. 1933 was built the High Court, neoclassical Georgia. You've got right shoulder behind you. On the side of the building, you see the largest Catholic cross in Ireland. So, this is our version of Fleet Street. You've got the newsletter behind you. Here, you've got the Belfast Telegraph, the largest circulation paper at Belfast, and on the right, the blue building with the red brick, is the Irish News. One for each side of the divide, the Irish News is the Nationalist paper, Belfast Telegraph is the Unionist paper. 1815, the church beyond you, St. Patrick's, was consecrated. Some famous people have attended there, everybody here, Frank Carson, it's a way to tell him. He's a Belfast comedian, that's where he went. Sir John Lavery also attended there, a famous painter. He's painted a triptych which is inside the front entrance. 
three paintings depicted in the same scene. Is that valuable and that expensive? It's stored behind four inches of glass. It's valued at millions. Now, on your right, the green building. Now run by the National Health Service. One side of the divide calls it the Manor Hospital. The other side calls it the Meter Hospital. Now think about it. If birds pump it from your head, does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nobody should give a damn. Now when you were sent down at Plumber Low Courthouse, you literally are sent down. Believe it or not, there's a tunnel that runs underneath the road. So you go down on one side and you come up in the jail on the other side. The fourth of the Great War, the First World War. Before 12 o'clock on the first day of the Battle of the Somme, a thousand men from this road were killed. And a thousand men from this area, obviously it had a dramatic effect on the people of this area. To try and keep the two communities apart, so initially this directed temporary barricades. The government then came up with a plan that they would build peace walls with the idea that if the two communities can't see each other, they can't kill each other. And to an extent it's worked obviously. So we now have roughly 26 peace walls in Belfast spanning approximately 20 kilometres. Varies in height from 60 feet to 100 feet.